boy, oh boy, the food industry is on a roll. You know, for the meat eaters, they have uh, black folks in specific going crazy over this Popeye's fried chicken sandwich. And now, for the people that want to eat a little bit more healthier, that are vegetarians and vegans, they have this Impossible Burger. Now, I just want you all to, the ones that's eating the Impossible Burger, that are vegetarians and vegans, and that don't want to eat meat, I just want you all to admit to yourself that you miss eating meat. Because just think about it. Why would you want to eat something that tastes like meat? But it's not really meat. You see what I'm saying? Why would you want something that has the same type of texture, taste, and smell? Why? Just admit you're not a bad vegetarian or a bad vegan. If you admit that you miss eating meat, I at times miss eating meat. You see, I remember when I was a meat eater, I remember what real ch chicken tastes like. And it's not that morning, morning star products or corn products. These meat substitutes. Meat is meat. And you cannot. It is impossible. I'm glad they named that burger that. It is impossible to duplicate the taste of meat and the texture. So I remember what chicken tastes like, a chicken sandwich. I remember what a real hamburger tastes like, made with beef. And it sure as hell didn't taste like an impossible burger. Now for the sake of this video, I had to do it because I know that you all would have said, well, how do you know what the impossible burger tastes like? Did you taste one? For the sake of this video, I did. And I will be detoxing. I will be getting that impossible burger out of my body, out of my system. Because this is a crazy thing about it. Everybody has an impossible burger. You know, it's not just Burger King. It's not exclusively Burger King's product. Just about everybody has an impossible burger. And it's crazy because vegetarians and vegans, y'all are the back of the box readers. Uh, I'll say we So whenever you see us in the grocery store We're standing in the middle of the aisle Reading the box The back of the box Looking at the ingredients And what's in it Oh it's gluten free Oh they have monosodium glutamate I'm not taking I'm No 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 I don't want that Oh it has red 40 and blue lake 20 And yellow 6 mm -mm, oh, No 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 But when it comes to this impossible burger Guess what Y'all seem to skip asking questions about what is in what is in that impossible burger. And overall, what is in basically all of the meat substitutes that you've been eating, such as that morning star baking. And it the 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 vegetarian ground that looks like a ground beef and supposed to taste like it and if you ask those questions when they say plant-based you automatically say to yourself well it has to be healthy you know they said it's plant-based this is the food industry talking so why are you believing them when they say it's plant-based why are you not asking questions because if you did ask questions and you did do research like I did, you would know that the Impossible Burger is made out of soy root. And that 90% of the meat substitutes are made from the soy plant and the soybean. And we all know that 99% of the soy plant and soybean including the root is genetically modified so therefore when you eat an impossible burger 
It is worse than eating meat. And that's why you need to stay away from stuff like that. Do you actually think, check this out, do you actually think that a place like Burger King is going to give you a healthy option? Do you think that? So let's just say the Impossible Burger is plant-based, right? It, it's, um, it has vegetables, you know, non-GMO products and ingredients in it, right? What about the lettuce? What about the tomatoes? What about the mayonnaise? What about the white bun? But you don't think about that, do you? You just don't. And this is the reason why people call us, call us contradictors. And they have every right to. Media as that is. They call us, you contradict yourself. You say you don't want to eat meat and you gave up meat but I see you with a veggie hot dog? That doesn't make sense. Either you're going to be a vegetarian and a vegetarian is, see, y'all have y'all have modernized everything. Back in the days in the 90s, a vegetarian was someone that just ate strictly vegetables. But now, being a vegetarian can mean several different things. Like, I've heard that some vegetarians eat eggs. Like chicken eggs. And it's crazy to me, you know? Either you're going to be a, a, a vegetarian, vegan, that eats vegetables and fruits, grains such as uh, quinoa, uh, wild rice, beans such as the garbanzo beans, black, black beans, pinto beans, kidney beans, nuts such as uh, cashews, uh, almonds, <laughs> or you just you're just gonna be a regular dude. Just you know, you just eat meat. But don't say that this is a healthy alternative because it's not. Junk food is junk food. I've seen. Uh, uh, <laughs> gummy vegan gummy bears i've seen vegan cookies junk food is junk food no matter what it is no matter what it is i've seen amy's frozen pizzas junk food is junk food the way that i think is if i can't make it in in my my kitchen then i don't need to eat it i don't need to eat it and every now and then we slip up. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I had a, a, a cheese pizza a couple weeks ago. And I knew I didn't have no business with it. But guess what? I put my business out there. I let everybody know, yo, you know, I messed up. You know, I, I, I was... I, <laughs> at that point in time, I was, being ign- I was being ignorant. You know, I was wanted to reminisce on my past. You know, living in New York and, and, and going to the pizzeria and getting that nice, fresh hot pizza slice but I'm not going I'm not the one I'm not the vegetarian that's going to sit back and 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 say oh I did it for this reason that reason da 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 and try to justify it no 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 I slipped up so every now and then you're going to slip up but at the end of the day don't try to put that BS on everybody as if that impossible burger is healthy. Don't vegetarians, don't vegans, period. You see, I know better. I know I could have went in that kitchen and I have pictures and videos. I've, I have videos on how to make a pizza without cheese, without the tomato sauce. I could have easily went in that kitchen and made myself a vegan pizza, but I wanted that cheese pizza at that point in time. Period. Just like you could have took your ass in the kitchen and got you a portobello mushroom, put it in the oven, 
threw some romaine lettuce or spinach on it, some tomatoes, non-GMO tomatoes, and some organic ketchup, or rather ketchup that you could make on your own. Get you some spelt flour if you don't have that. Get you the, I think it's the King James or something like that, uh, uh, unbleached flour. And you could have made your own buns. And that would have been a lot more healthier. That mushroom burger would have been a lot more healthier than that genetically modified impossible burger that you ate. And you try to justify it by saying it was plant-based. Yeah, it's a genetically modified soy root <laughs> burger. Period. You could have easily took your ass in the kitchen and made you a black bean bur burger and that would have been more healthier than Im that impossible burger. So, I'm about to get off this. I'm just going to let y'all know, you know, I I I tasted it. Um the condiments really made it taste like a burger. You know, the ketchup, the mayonnaise, you know, uh the lettuce, the tomatoes, the onions, all of that made it taste like a burger. But had I took that that patty and just squirt some ketchup on it without the lettuce the tomatoes the onions and the mayonnaise and all that stuff it would have been bland and i'm sitting here looking at it like wow this 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 is five dollars and change it's not worth it it's not worth it period so for all those of people that's that's saying oh man this is this is plant-based this tastes just like meat. No, it doesn't. No, it does. Stop lying. Stop lying. They prepare it just like a uh, a Whopper. You know, they grill it and they put all of the, you know, lettuce, tomatoes, all that stuff that you would get with a Whopper. So it tastes somewhat like a Whopper because of all of the stuff that they put on top of that patty. Other than that, no, it's not meat. It's not. And you can you can open up the bun and, and take a piece off and see that it's not meat. So I tell you what, stop with your meat alternatives, your meat substitutes, and eat the real thing. Because the reality of it is, is you miss meat, eating meat, and you really want to go back to eating it. And this is the reason why you love that. <laughs> Genetically modified impossible burger. My name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. One.